So now we are ready for the third and last step. They are just, just the weight. So we have calculated the local gradient now. Now we can change these weights, the three weights connected to this new neuron here. Okay, the first thing I do is just to change the formula. I take the simpler formula here. This, this first one has a strange step in between here, but otherwise it's just the same. So this is more the basic here. Okay. So let's try and see what that happens. So we are going to change this weight. 0.15 and this one 0.25 and 0.35. So we're going to change these three steps from this new one. Okay. Let's look at that. Here, you can see that it's changed to 0.1499 now. But how do we get those value? Well, the neuron 3 here. So the weight at next step, which is just as the one we are, have calculated, is taking the previous weight, we know, 1. 0.15 that was the previous weight of this one plus the delta which is 0.25 which is just a learning rate so that's a constant and then we take times the local gradients this one here times the output of uh, the neuron here 0.05 so this times the local gradients times the constant of learning rate plus the previous weight gives us a change of weight and now we have 0.1499 which is there. The same is happening to this one here. Again we have the previous was 0.25 the delta this is constant and this is constant and this is not constant this is the output of this one gives us 0.249 which you can see here and the last is the previous 0.35 the delta is constant times constant plus 1 which is this one gives us the wall 0.3478 okay so now we have this was the last step we, of course we do this with this one also and everywhere so this step goes that way, and local gradients goes this way, and adjusting weight goes also this way. Okay, so this this neuron is changing the weights that way, not not from not here, but here. Okay, so this was the third and final step. Now we just take the next data and do the same again data in this case the next data is just just the same but the, as you can see there's just one time of time one data here but there are other examples like this one which have a new data see look at this one target here further to see the, this is the all the first steps are the same target so let's just out to here you can see now it's change yeah? and the input is always change because we have a list here it's rather big here okay so this was the final step